so hello everyone welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are going to be making this juice website design in figma uh, with a step by step guide so yeah let's get started let's see what are the steps right so the first thing is the home page that we have to work on right so firstly you have to start by opening figma and then click on the plus design file which is the plus icon with a blue background and then uh, click here frames and go to desktop right so we'll do the same firstly we are gonna go with this frames this is the frame and then we'll click here desktop okay so finally we got the desktop here we're gonna keep here and then uh, the next step that we have is set desktop width as 1600 pixels and height as 3377 right width as 1600 and height as 3377 right so we got the width and we got the height right the next thing that we have to do is we have to set the layout grid and then we have to set it to columns we have to count we have to set the count to 12 we have to set the margin to 100 gutter to 24 right so yeah let's do it right so firstly we are gonna click here layout grid and then we'll click here and then we'll go to columns and then we'll set the count to 12 gutter as 24 right basically the layout grid helps us to you know keep the things perfectly right and then the margin should be 100 right so i guess we are completed we have set the layout grid columns count margin and gutter yeah now what we have to do is we have to go with the gradient background right so let's do that firstly let me show you how the grid actually looks like so this is the grid we are gonna put all the things here all the elements here so that you know the website will be a perfect one now what we have to do is we have to go with the background basically this is the background image this is not a linear gradient uh, basically this is a linear gradient image but this is not what I have created this is not what I have made manually this is just a random choice so firstly right click in figma go to plugins and then go with grainy gradient I guess and then you have to like download this grainy gradient go to manage plugins like let me show you just right click here go to plugins and go to manage plugins and download this grainy gradient it will download in like one minute and then you can randomize whatever gradient you want and then you have to right click here or you have to copy this image right so we are done with the background image right so what we'll do is we'll take this image and put it right here the first step of the home page is completely done which looks exactly like this so this will be the final look of the gradient and the layout grid right so our base is ready now let's move to the step 2 which is very very interesting so basically I generated the logo from Bing image creator which really helps you to generate images by text right it is a very good tool so I generated this orange logo from here right so let's put the orange logo so this is the orange logo and i'm gonna keep here so i'm completely done with the logo now let's go with the nav bar basically nav bar is like home about you know contact or blog or anything so let's create the nav bar so we have all the information about the nav bar here right so basically in the nav bar the font name is quicksand the font weight is semi bold bold for home right this home will be bold and the others will be semi bold the font size is 22 pixels the font color is black and auto layout was added to okay i'm gonna explain everything step by step so first let's fill all these things right so firstly what we'll do is we are gonna create a text box here by clicking here and then we are gonna write here home so the home is almost ready firstly the home font family is quicksand let's type here quicksand 
okay the font weight will be bold just for home the font size will be 22 and the font color will black right so we are done with this home now we are gonna click alt here and then we are gonna duplicate this one two and three times and then we are gonna write here features then menu and then the last one will be contact so I don't want these three to be bold I want these three to be semi bold right and then now you can see these are not placed well so what we can do is we can select all of them and we can set the auto layout here so this is auto layout which really helps us to keep things perfectly and if you don't want it you have to set if you want to set it manually you can click minus here right so we are perfectly done with our nav bar you can see this is the logo this is the nav bar and now we are gonna work on this sign up button let's talk about it so this is the sign up button and what we have to do is this is the rectangle basically first you have to make a rectangle you have to remove the fill and add one stroke thickness and then you have to set the text with the same information as navbar right so we'll duplicate the text so firstly we'll create a rectangle just go with this shapes and click here rectangle make a rectangle set the width as 127 and the height as 50 so this is done and now we are gonna add one stroke thickness and we're gonna remove this fill option and then let's do this corner radius as 10 right so that the corners will be curved right and then we have to duplicate this text right and we're gonna write here sign up this is the rectangle and this is the text we are gonna group them just select both of them by clicking shift and then click ctrl plus g right so this is the sign up group right we have named this so this is the sign up button and then we are gonna keep this sign up button right here so the sign up button is completely ready we are gonna move further to the step 3 of the home page so this is the information of the step 3 we have to create this like you know this title this subtitle and this image ignore these buttons for now right so the first thing that we have to do is generate the text from chat gpt i have generated this title from chat gpt and the image is from google you can find it anywhere or you can or you can generate it from microsoft bing image creator so first let's fill all these information okay so now what we'll do is we are gonna click here to text and then we are gonna write the text that we have created from chat gpt right so let's write the text so i've written this text which is generated from chat gpt and now let's follow the instructions we have to set the font size to 80 pixels right and then you have to set the font color to brown right this is the color code 473525 right with 90 percent of opacity which makes it a little bit lighter and then set the font family to Jost. so this is the font family okay so font color done font family done font weight is still not done we have to set it to bold font size is done and the line height we have to set the line height to 110.5 right and then we'll just do it like this so we are completely done with the heading which is the main title which is the hero title right we have to place it here now let's work on this subtitle so we'll just duplicate this and then we are just gonna go with the text which is generated from chat gpt just copy and paste here so we got like this text and now we'll follow the instructions so the color code will be totally black just go with this with 65 percent of opacity just to make it a little bit gray right and then what we have to do is we have to set the weight to regular which is the font weight we have to set the size to 27 and also set the line height to auto right and then let me keep it here so we are completely done with the title and the subtitle you can find the image from google right here is the image right let me keep it now we are gonna see by hiding the grid layout not removing but hiding it now let's move further and create these buttons 
moving forward to the step 4 which is the buttons so to create a button first you have to make a rectangle then you have to set the width height color corner radius and when it comes to font just go with quicksand that we have created before go with the font weight as semi bold go with the font size at 22 pixels the color of fonts are mentioned here so here i am making the rectangle i'm going to set the width as 147 pixels i'm going to set the height as 67 pixels and the color would be like before we have selected this is the color with 78% of opacity you can check the color code here and then go with the corner radius as 10 pixels so our first button background is created let me put here and then the fonts so basically you have to just let me firstly what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this right this is the quick sand only with semi bold with 22 pixels it's completely done i'm just going to write here view menu so the view menu is done let me keep here we're going to select this and we'll set it to this white color just to keep it visible so let me keep it in the middle so our view menu button is like created completely done now we'll go with the discount button right so firstly we are going to group the uh, these two things rectangle and the text right we are going to name the button right now we are going to duplicate this by hitting alt and then uh, what we have to do is select this rectangle remove the fill add the stroke to the same color and then set the color to this brown only right this is the brown discount so now we are completely done with the home page which is the logo nav bar sign up title subtitle image and the buttons so i am going to group these two buttons also so we are completely done with the home page as you can see uh, you know the step 4 are completed this is the final result that we got now let's move further to the features but uh, features section right so the step 1 firstly we are going to make this which is why should you choose us and then the description and then these rectangles right duplicate this by clicking alt and write here why you should choose us this is the final look why you should choose us just keep it here and then let's see the difference font color code is same family is same font weight is same just the font size is a little bit different 70 pixels right set the line height as auto right so we are completely done with this heading now the subheading just copy this by clicking alt and then go with the text that you have generated from chat gpt that text and i'm going to keep it like this just change the font size to 30 heading and subheading is completely done now what you have to do is you have to make this rectangle which is the step 2 of the features page right so make a rectangle set width height corner radius linear gradient i'm going to show you everything step by step right so firstly we are going to create a rectangle here is the rectangle we are going to set the width as 283 set the height as 382 set the corner radius as 48 go with the fill option and select linear gradient and the first linear gradient would be ffe 2c8 the second linear gradient would be feb a44 with 100% of opacity and then you have to go to the effects option this is the effects and go with the drop shadow option and then let the x be 0 let the y be 10 blur would be 50 and the color code would be 594631 with 54% of opacity so it is completely done now you can see the rectangle is like amazing and now uh, the image is from free pick right which is a very good platform right so yeah just duplicate this rectangles 1 2 and 3 times and then let's set it once again just go with the grid layout and set this rectangle here keep this rectangle here and then keep this rectangle here and then this to here right so now uh, these are the images right what you have to do is first is the pineapple one i'm going to keep it here the second one is this grapes one i'm going to keep it here 
third one is this watermelon one i'm going to keep it here so we are completely done with this second part right group all the elements of the home page right which is a very important factor just do it like this select all these things and just hit control g and select this hit control g and write here whole about us then move this a little bit downwards now let's create the menu section which is one of the most important section here is the menu section steps first you have to the text is same from the features heading this is the all information of the rectangle so firstly we are going to duplicate this text explore best menu selections it's completely done so the next step is to create this rectangle so this is all the information about the rectangle you have to set the width as 454 so just create a rectangle over here set the width as 454 set the height as 515 set the corner radius as 40 add the gradient here which is the most important thing set the gradient as ff9b25 with 79% of opacity go with the next gradient set the color code to ffeed9 set the opacity to 65 add the stroke here click on strokes go with 4% of thickness i guess and uh, select this inside which is already selected and then go with fd 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 which is the color code right this is the thing and then go to effect set layer blur and go with 15 pixels of layer blur so our rectangle is completely ready just keep it here right and then you, what you have to do is keep your rectangle over here right and then just put the image right here now we have to make it like this we have to set this mango bliss burst which is actually generated from chat gpt this is the description of them like i've just written description of them and then this is the price of them let's make this the first step is duplicate this text and then what you have to do is set the color code to this one which is exactly 90% of the opacity set the font family to martel sense set the font weight to bold send the font size to 30 you have to write here mango bliss burst you have to move it like this now you have to go with the description right so we'll do the same we are going to get this duplicate this and now what you have to do is set the color code here with 100% of opacity and then you have to set the font weight to semi bold and the font size to 15 pixels and then just zoom it a little bit and write here description of them set the font family to this one right so we are completely done with it now we are going to keep this here and now we are going to work on the price section uh, just duplicate this once again and uh, set the font family to enter right enter and then set the font weight to bold the font size to 25 and uh, just write here 10.00 and uh, set this dollar select this dollar set the color to like almost red icon to 22 right so we are completely done with the price what we have to do is we have to work on the this heart shape which is like here c we have this heart here with this kind of leaf shape circle you don't have to do anything um you know let me zoom it a bit and let me show you how to do this just remove the heart from here and uh, you know it is all done by the radius right you ha you can do here like this you can stretch it a bit you can go with this one so it is completely done with that you can go you can search for the icons on google or you know figma plugins and then just simply keep it here and keep this here so we are completely done with the 
rectangle here click here alt and we are going to duplicate it for two times let me just keep it here and then here right now we are just going to change the names and prices and the pictures so we are completely done with the home page the about us page and the menu section now what we have to do is we have to work on the last section which is the contact us page we are going to make this contact us page here let's create this and let me show you how to do it firstly duplicate this heading and write here contact us and then duplicate this and write here site map and then duplicate this and write here send us a message keep the weight as regular size as 36 color should be totally black with 65 percent of opacity and then it is completely done keep this below contact us make a rectangle set the width as 354 set the height as 54 set the corner radius as 20 pixels and set the color as completely white with 80 percent of opacity just to make it a little bit of grayish keep down here set the height as 59 and the width as 324 now duplicate it for three times and set the width of the last one to 442 and the height as 120 right we are completely done with three boxes which is the full name and you know your message about it so the inside text would be enter and the font weight would be regular just uh, copy this i mean i mean duplicate this and then go with the enter font which is the default font of figma and then keep the regular go with 50 percent of opacity for black color and then just keep the font weight to 24 pixels right so we are gonna write here full name and then we are just gonna keep this over here so it is completely done just duplicate this and write here your email and your message and also you have to group this and then keep it a little bit here group this and keep it a little bit over here it's time for the submit button you don't have to do anything just duplicate this set the background color to this one go with the text and write here submit and select this go with 100% of black color right and go with 10% of corner radius keep the submit text in middle smoothly keep it here below this your message one mistake is there you have to keep this send us a message as 65% of opacity just uh, you know you have to duplicate this and you have to write here all our pages and then you just have to simply make this you can see the details here it's so simple home about services blog and contact us and then you have to select this logo duplicate this logo just have to keep the random phone number you know it's not real of, of course and you have to go with this random email with these icons you can find these icons with figma plugins or you know google you know it's upon you just keep it here and uh, we are completely done everyone and now i'm gonna remove this not remove but hide this and then we can go with this play button congratulations if you are making this so this is the home page this is the you know features page and then we have this menu page and then we have this contact us page so thank you so much everyone for watching for more these kind of web pages comment below